guys, it's Katie and today I've got a basics 101 video for you. I'm going to be showing you various different ways on how to clean your brushes. So if you're interested in seeing how I clean my brushes, then please keep watching. This you may recognize if you're a girl and you wear your hair in buns. It's just one of those like bun makers, um, the little kind of mesh donut thing. And I actually use this to spot clean my brushes. If you are short on brushes or you don't own that many brushes and you're working with a lot of eyeshadows, a really great tip is to use one of these to clean your brushes off so that you can work with another color. I'm going to take my eyeshadow brush and just kind of pack on some color here. Now that my brush is loaded up with color, as you can see there. So I'm just going to take this and run it back and forth. I chose black because it would be easiest for me to see when this gets dirty. And when it gets dirty, you can just take it under some running water and soap and just kind of like smudge it. I don't wash it and the pigment should come right off but what I'm doing is I'm working the brush back and forth I'm not doing this though it may look like it but I'm lifting it up off the surface every time I um, change direction so that way you're not ruining the bristles but you're cleaning off the pigment from the brush so even though it's still stained no color is coming off. Another tip is to use wipes, whether it be makeup wipes or wet ones. Using the same kind of lifting back and forth action on that will clean off your brushes. Now for regular and daily cleaning, I have two items that I like to use. Um, this would be the Daily Makeup Brush Cleaner from Sephora. It comes in two sizes, this larger one which is 200 mils and then a smaller one which I keep in my train case which is 60 mils. Basically what you would do is spray this product. Let me get another dirty brush because I have a lot of them. You would spray this product on the brush and then I usually take like just a cloth or towel and just do the same back and forth motion and you can see the pigment is coming off and then I would reshape this and then put it back in my brush jar for use tomorrow. As far as the MAC brush cleaner goes, if you put it in a spray bottle, you can pretty much do the same thing as the Sephora cleanser. I would recommend squeezing this into like a small glass. If you're not needing that much of it, do it in a little shot glass. You'll want to dip your brush into it, let it, the bristles soak up the product, and then just wipe off on a towel till it's dry enough and then lay it fat, flat to dry and it should be go, good to go the next day. Alright, so for brush cleaning, I prefer to use a baby shampoo. The one I use is from Johnson & Johnson's. It's the extra conditioning shampoo. I like this just because it smells good and it conditions my brushes while cleaning. You can use a dish soap or any kind of homemade brush cleaning liquid. I just prefer this. And then I also use my Sigma Spa Cleaning Glove. It has two sides, one for your face brushes and the other side for your eye brushes. Now starting off with some baby shampoo in the palm of the hand and wetting the brush. Make sure when you wet the brush, you wet the bristles and not the ferrule down there. The ferrule is where the bristles are held together by glue and if you get this wet, the glue will rot and will ruin your brushes. The bristles will fray and most likely fall out so you want to avoid getting this part wet when washing and even when drying so never have your brushes pointing upwards with bristles up. Always point them down, especially when you're wetting them. So make sure that brush is nice and wet. And then just work the brush in circular motions, counterclockwise and clockwise. And then 
back and forth. Then we'll use that refine area to just really get in and do really deep cleaning of the bristles. Then rinse off until the water runs clear. Squeeze out any excess water. Reshape the brush. And then lay flat to dry. Now with the glove on my other hand to do the eye brushes. Just repeating the same steps as before. Look how dirty that brush is. Now to disinfect my brushes, I take a ramekin and some isopropyl alcohol or rubbing alcohol. The higher the concentration that you use, the faster the alcohol will evaporate and the brush will dry. Now this step serves to not only disinfect the brushes, but also helps remove any staining that the baby, sh baby shampoo may have left behind. So once you've wet it, squeeze out the excess on the sides of the ramekin and then blot to dry and then lay down to air dry. Then continue on with your other brushes. As you can see, the liquid has kind of changed color a little bit. And that's from all the staining that was left in the brush um, bristles. To dispose of the alcohol, just turn on the cold water and pour it down the drain. Cleaning and maintaining your brushes regularly will not only keep them in peak condition, prolong their life, but it'll also help prevent any breakouts that you may get on your face, especially with the foundation brushes. The makeup that's caked on the brushes can really harbor bacteria, and the last thing that we want is to create any breakouts or cause any breakouts on our skin. So I hope you found this Basics 101 useful and informative. If you have any different ways that you like to clean your brushes, let me know in the comment section down below. Or if you've done a video as well, leave me a link and I'd love to check it out. If you haven't checked out my previous Basics videos, I'll leave them linked here as well as in the down bar. Any products or items that I showed or mentioned to you will also be listed in the down bar for you. If you have any questions, comments, suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section down below or send me a message. I just wanted to say thank you to all my subscribers and if you're not subscribed, what are you waiting for? I'll just, I'll give you a minute to just You subscribed yet? If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up for me. And until next time, I'll leave you with lots of love and laughter. That way, now you can dip this brush, dip this brush. Now it's for help. Basis. Ah. To leave me a. Whacking stuff everywhere. <sighs> I just want to say.